Hello, hi, hi, hello. Um, so we here with a motivation with me. Those of a bitches feel like paparazzi in the room. That one on the palm tree might make the shade room. Beautiful masterpiece, my interest really upset. Nobody, my prescription, I ain't been taking my medicine. I need to up my dose. I can't get my girl dose. Need some a little more potent. Feel like I'm roller coaster. Okay. So, I'm going to tell y'all what happened, and then I'm going to give you a word. Just a little short word, nothing serious. Well, it's serious, but nothing long, I should say. And yes, I'm going to sit here like somebody grandma, because that's how I feel, huh? And if my phone vibrates, it's because I'm waiting on my landlords uh, to call me. Well, my new landlord, because we got the keys, and it's Saturday. We got the keys, keys, keys. But, um, so, let me tell y'all what happened. Y'all know, okay, well, y'all probably don't know because I don't know if I put it in the vlog, the first one, but the second one, I think it's in there for show. Sure. But I got a proof of financing for my furniture, right? Couch, dining room table, all that. Because y'all know I gave away all my furniture. So, um, I get, I'm thinking, you know, my card come in the mail. I'm about to go to the furniture store and buy my stuff and have it delivered and, you know, everything going to be set up. Mm-mm. No, Lord. That's not what happened. I rushed to that mailbox, baby, just to get a letter that said they were uh, reviewing my application that was already approved and they needed identity verification. I'm like, well, identity verification, like, for what? So I called because I'm thinking the letter is, oh, I called and I was like, but I got approved. I don't understand what the problem is because it told me to call the number by a certain date. So I call the number and they say, we got to transfer you to the fraud department. I say the fraud, the fraud department, what is going on? So apparently I had to go to, through some verification process where I had to take pictures of my ID. Now, mind you, I just came from an event. I'm tired. I don't even think I finished that vlog. And uh, I had a headache. Well, I still got a headache, but... So I'm tired, I'm I'm frustrated because, you know, things are not going as I planned. But, uh, <laughs> baby, like the good words of my sis Natalie, if you want to make God laugh, tell him what you're going to do. So I'm frustrated. I'm trying to take a picture of my ID. It ain't working. I tried over 10 times, went through two people, and they said, man, we can't give you no more, no more attempts. That's it. Like, we didn't try it. So now I got to wait for another letter to come in the mail in seven to 10 business days and do the process all over. So now I can't get my furniture. So now I'm real mad, big mad, a lot of mad. Frustrated, mad, disappointed, everything. And shout out to Tamika, because I'm sitting there telling Tamika what happened. I'm talking to Tamika, Christian, and Brooklyn. And I was upset, but I was like, you know what? There's a message here. Because I texted Tamika, I said, I feel a word. Mm -hmm. I felt the word because I was frustrated as <laughs> I was mad. I was to the point where I was about to cry because I, I cry when I'm frustrated and when I'm upset. So I had to hold back my tears because I'm like, I'm really upset. I wanted my furniture. So now ain't no telling when I'm going to get it. But then I had to remind myself. The spirit came upon me. And I listen to some gospel music. Whenever I get into a bad mood, I listen to some gospel music, baby. And you will swear I just want a million dollars the way I be praising around this house. Do you understand? And so I told Tamika, I said, you know what? I said, I can't remember exactly what I told her because you don't know my memory, baby. But basically what I said was, baby, let me tell you something. I got blessed with it. almost everything off my registry. My trunk's so full, I can barely close it. When God give you blessings, you best believe it's going to piss the devil off. So let me tell you what he going to try to do. He is going to try to deter you from what God has already done. Because instead of me, and that's, that's my landlord. Hold on, y'all. Okay, my apologies, y'all. I let my new landlords park in my house for the barbecue cookout. Um, and I got my keys at the same time, which is another blessing. Yes, God, because it's two days early. I'm not supposed to get my keys until Monday, but today is Saturday. So this probably going to drop a little late because I feel like I had to get this out right away. But 
the devil is trying to distract me and take my mind off of the blessings that I received and focus on what I didn't get. So my message to you is instead of focusing on what you don't have, focus on what you do have. I can't have my living room set right now. I can't have my dining room table right now. But what I can have is that futon. You want to know why? Because I made a joke and I said if, if 30 people send me $10 each, I can get it. It's on layaway right now. And Tamika sent me $10. Brooklyn sent me some money. And I was joking. But when you have people that bless you, and I already talked about this on live. You have to accept it. And it's because of that. I let money stack up in my in my thing. Uh, and I didn't move it because I said this month I'm gonna need it. It's it got a it got a purpose. I'm gonna need it. So now let me cut. So now I can take that money and I can buy my futon. So at least I have something to sit on. Because in my mind, I'm like, I ain't gonna have nothing to sit on but my bed. I got an office chair, <laughs> but I can't I, I can't roll that around the house because I'm gonna mess up the flow. So I was I told to me, I said I'm gonna be sitting on the floor. And them hardwood floors. And then I remembered, no, you can get your futon because you have the money to get at least that. And as I'm sitting there thinking again about what I don't have, I had to remember what I do have. Baby, you got half of your registry. You got half of the stuff that you asked for and that you needed. Because I didn't put nothing on that list I didn't need. It might be like one or two items on there where it's like, ah, you know, it's decoration. But I got what I needed. I got what I wanted. I was blessed. And I still got packages coming. And so I had to focus on that. Because even though that door was closed when it comes to me getting my furniture... Another one was open to where I can receive all these blessings, especially from people that I don't even know in real life, in person. But I consider them family. You can't have everything you want. You're not going to get everything you want. Now, am I going to get it? Of course. But I'm going to get it in God's time, not mine. So whatever it is that you want, you have to understand you gonna get it in his time not yours you are not the author of your own life because God wrote that book before you was even born he's the author of that book he is the author of your life and on page number 29 it says in that book you are not gonna get this furniture because I'm gonna put a barrier in the way because I want to test and see what you're gonna do with it are you gonna remember the blessings that I gave you on page 20 or are you gonna focus on what's going on in page 29 and come page 35 you're gonna have it and if you didn't get that then it went over your head hmm you understand what I'm telling you don't focus on what you ain't got take a take inventory I want you to take inventory of everything that you got in your life right now. Whether people gave it to you, whether you worked hard for it. Take inventory. That is y'all homework. Of people in your life, things in your life. You got a roof over your head if you do. A car to drive if you do. Food to eat if you do. Because I don't know who watching this. But everybody has something. At least one thing in their life that they can be grateful for. That they can take inventory on. Take inventory on your blessings. And focus on that. Don't focus on what ain't came in yet. Focus on the inventory that you got right now. Focus on the things and the blessings that you got right now. So what I'm going to do is focus on the stuff that I got in my trunk. That Tamika will not let me open. That's my focus. Because I had to stop myself because I'm like, you know what? You sitting here getting frustrated because you can't get furniture. When before the financing situation even happened, I wasn't even going to have no furniture. Because I couldn't afford the furniture. So I was already prepared to not have furniture. But when I got the good news of being approved for financing to get the furniture, okay, I'm excited now because I get my furniture. They go another blessing. 
But there's always going to be something in the path of the blessing. There's always going to be a struggle. It's always going to be a barrier. It's always going to be something. Because the, believe it or not, the devil and God work together. The devil going to put something right there. And, and read the book of Job. And God is going to prove of it because he's trying to test your faith. Now, I'm not a minister. I'm not a pastor by any means. But he going to, because he's trying to. To get you to curse God. He's trying to mess with your faith. He's trying to make you forget about the blessings that God gave you. By putting a barrier in the way. And my barrier was the fact that now I can't get it until my identity is verified. And let me tell you how that works and how that tie into the message. And I'm going to leave you with this. You can't get God's blessings until your identity is verified. I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. You will not receive God's blessings until your identity is verified. Until your faith is verified and he see how you're going to react, you ain't going to get what you need or want. And when you do get it, it's going to be when he wants you to get it. And when you get it, it's going to be right on time. It's not my time yet. And my time is what I already got. That's what the focus is. Not on what I ain't got yet. So I'm going to wait patiently for God to give it to me. And he going to give it to me right at the time that I need it. Because when one door closes, God going to open up another one. And if he can't open up another door, he going to open up a window. But he's going to open it when he wants to, not when you want to. Verify your identity. Until your identity is verified, you're going to stay stuck in the same place. Do inventory of your blessings. Remember your blessings. Focus on your blessings. Focus on what you got and not what you don't got. Because there's a reason you ain't got it. That's my message. It was nice and short. And again, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna do some more motivation videos. Uh, definitely planning this podcast situation um, because I really want to create a platform just for motivation, which is how this channel even started. Um, and I know that I'm capable of having a lot to talk about. I literally already wrote down like 20, 30 ideas because I literally I don't practice this stuff. I didn't I knew what the situation was but when I got on here but I didn't know what was going to come out of my mouth cuz it just the spirit just leads me. All them gems I just dropped about verifying your identity, about talking about the pages of the book of your life that has already been written that just came to me. I didn't think about that before I cut this camera on. I just say let the spirit lead me and I put I hit record. Everything else is on God. Because it's a message in there for somebody. It's somebody that's going to see this, that need to see it, that need to hear it. And that's something that I want to continue. And I want it to be separate. So stay tuned. And I love y'all. Shout out to Tamika again and Brooklyn for listening to me, Vent and Christian. Because <laughs> I, me and Tamika been talking all day, child. And thank you to Tiff. Everybody who bought something off the registry, I cannot tell who bought what until I open it, which I'm not allowed to until Monday. But thank you very much. And again, we got the keys. So let's move out of this place and start a new beginning in the next one. Until the next video. Bye. Girl, you gave me your soul. Somebody turns your heart cold.